Hey Kia, this is Keith. Um, I wanted to show you this just so you could understand what was going on. Uh, when you originally reached out, you had told me that this Volkswagen Jetta's computer uh, wasn't communicating with the car. And I didn't exactly know if you understood what that meant, so I thought I'd give you a little tutorial, little little understanding. Um, I've, so I've got this computer that I'm using. Let me turn my light on so you can see it. Um, this is a scan tool that's for Audis and for Volkswagens. Um, and uh, with the scan tool, you can, you can test different things. Uh, and basically, you're testing different computers. Um, hold on. So looking at the screen, uh, you'll see where it says ECM, engine control management one, engine control management two, TCM, BCM, AB. These are all different computers, right? So even though your, your car is a whole, it's all operated by individual computers. One of them would be the engine, one would be the transmission, one would be the uh, brake control module, the airbag system. And then the list goes on. You got air conditioning computers, you got parking, parking assist computers, tire pressure monitoring system computers. Some of these may not pertain specifically to your car, but these are all different computers that are found on 2007 Volkswagen Jettas. Um, so saying that, um, if I go back up to the top of the list to the first page, hold on a sec, and show you where it says like ECM1, ECM2, uh, if I test it and try to initialize a test, it is seeing that there's a link error. So apparently there's some sort of issue with the computer, just like what your mechanic had told you. Uh, if I try the second computer, I get nothing. This is link error. Please check. If the vehicle is equipped with a, the electrical control module, if the cable is connected correctly, and if the key is in the on position, and I've got all those things set to on or powered on, and there's no communication with the, uh, with the computer. So saying all that, um, I was able to get the car to at least power on. So, I mean, we're not totally dead in the water. Uh, car's got 214,000 miles on it. I was able to at least get the dash to light up. Um, doesn't really help us a whole lot. It, it at least does that, but things do work. Um, if I turn the key on, I can hear the fan blowing. So that's a good thing. If I hit the power on the radio, radio will come on. So, I mean, these are, th those are things that, that are definitely good. Um, but we aren't getting any power to the car's computer. Um, saying that, there are some other things that I did check. Under the hood, you've got a fuse box here. There's your new battery that you put in. And um, there are different fuses for, um, for getting this electronic control or engine control module to work. Um, some of these fuses down here, I think the five volt here, the five, or I'm sorry, the five amp fuse here, the five amp fuse here. There were a couple other ones that were low voltage that are supposed to make the car's computer work, work. The fuses aren't blown, although I have not actually put a voltmeter across them to ensure that we're getting five volts on the fuse, but the fuse ain't working. Um, what, what computer they're specifically referring to when they tell you that the, uh, that the car won't communicate with the engine computer is this computer right here and this computer was buried way back there in the back in that little area right there um and that is your car's engine computer that's the computer that controls what the engine is, is doing and apparently it's not working now whether or not it's dead or whether or not it's just not getting turned on i don't know yet um, but anyway, that's where I'm at with it. I did pull it out. I unplugged it. I uh, cleaned the electrical contacts on it. I did the same thing to the fuse box. That's why it looked all glossy and black cause I, I took all of them out. I took some electronic cleaner sprayed in here just to try to uh, clean contacts. I did check the fuses and then the fuses are blown. Um, and that's where I'm currently at with it. Um, I did charge your battery up. Your battery sounds really good. Um, it, it it would definitely make the starter turn over but without that computer doing what it's supposed to do um the starter can turn all day long but we're not going to get any action um i'm going to stop for the night but i just want to give you a heads up so you can see what i've done with it and uh i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna check the the voltage here and ensure we're getting voltage across that across the fuses um if we are getting voltage across the fuses i'm going to get a wiring schematic for volkswagen 
and I'm going to take this connector off. And with the connector off, I'm going to stick a, uh, a probe inside of the, uh, the correct connections and make sure that we're getting voltage from the fuse panel to the end of that wire. And if we're getting power there and not getting power in the computer, then most likely this computer is bad, just like what the mechanic had said. But we're going to ensure we got voltage first before we say that. I haven't looked online to see what kind of money uh, these cost. Um, I would imagine less than three, 400 bucks, but I don't know. I haven't looked yet. Um, but anyway, if that's the case, then that might be your culprit and what's wrong with the car, but we'll cross that bridge eventually. We got still got more testing we got to do. Anyway, just want to give you a heads up, let you know where we're at. Have a good night.